So my name is Mark Thompson. Um, some might call me an activist, which I kind of consider myself to be. I'm the co-founder of Prepster and one of the co-editors of Blackout. I like to think that I kind of get shit done in the community. How do I participate in the LGBT, LGBTQ scene? Well, it depends on how you define scene. And if you kind of think about the scene as clubs and parties, well, probably not as much as I used to, but I'm certainly active in the scene, which I kind of define as a bigger, wider community. And, you know, I came out when I was 16 years of age and um, have grown up in the community, in the scene. So I've seen it morph and develop. But I see my role really differently. You know, recently I've been described as one of the elders, which was, you know, a bit strange at first, but I've embraced it. Um, and somebody else kind of described me as a daddy twink. So I've done that journey from, you know, that little kind of young you out there to this more mature, older, silver fox kind of guy. And, uh, yeah, I've liked the role in there. I'm mentoring, I'm leading young black gay men, I'm advising, I'm trying to just be there and to be that older guy and to be the role model, the person that I probably didn't have when I was younger. Well, the role, role of pleasure and joy in my work as an activist and an activist for good sexual health is absolutely key, it's important. And I've been doing the work for about 25 years. I've been involved in groups like Big Up and Blackliners back in the 80s and 90s, and they came around as a direct response to making sure that the voices of black gay men in particular at that time were heard. And from that through to Let's Rap, right up to day to my work with Prepster, safe and good and hot sex has just been key. I'm really interested and really keen to make sure that we as black queer folk and black gay men are represented, that our bodies are shown beautifully, that it's a truth, there's an authenticity to who we are and it's sexy. Pleasure is just key because if we don't have that, if we don't have good sex and hot sex and safe sex, then you know it's just half of the battle is, is won. So what do I find most desirable about my body? What do other people find desirable? Yeah. I guess you have to ask them. But for me, um, I think it's my lips. Um, I've been told they're really soft when they're kissed and I think they're kind of full, which I quite like. Um, and they do a good job when they're meant to, and where they're meant to. Um, and my eyes, uh, because there's something behind them. They always look like this, I'm up to something. And um, other people, what do they find desirable? I don't think it's one thing. I think it's, and it isn't like being vain, but it's because I'm quite small, but I'm mighty. So, Milikoba but Metalawa. So, um, I think that's what people find desirable, that it's just like this kind of like rough little guy who's, um, you know, you never know what you're gonna kind of get. Okay, so the one thing I wanna share, well, I'm gonna go a bit deeper because um, music is the key for me. It's, it's my lifeblood, it's absolutely everything. And I think for, for me as a black gay man, music has been central to, to my life. It's uh, been in the clubs that I've been to, everything, and it surrounds me all, always. And I was thinking about, you know, I've met loads of my partners and the guys I fucked with in the clubs, on the dance floor, crubbing up against walls in old school house parties, you know, music in the home when somebody comes over to seduce to, or, you know, just that music you play when you're kind of at it or when you're lying in the afterglow. So I kind of wanted to remember um, Luther, who is, you know, one of our legends. And I was seduced to Luther. Let me hold you tight if only for you on one night. Let me keep you near to ease away the fears. It would be so nice if only for one night. I won't tell a soul. No one has to know. If you want to be totally discreet, I'll be at your side if only for one night. My boy Luther.